So I'm out here with Chico Deputy Chief Chris Zinko, uh, learning at Chico Airport. Uh, what are we doing out here today? What are we trying to accomplish? Well, we have a couple of different things we're doing. One, we're practicing uh, getting ready for the wildland season, so we're doing a training burn for our, a lot of our newer people. Um, but we're also trying to clear the land because we're, we're burning here specifically at the airport, and part of it's wild uh, uh, managing what we have out here. For example, we have a lot of star thistles, so we're trying to eradicate some of the invasive plants that um, that um, aren't actually supposed to be part of uh, this area. Huh? Um, and we're also trying to put a lot of black around Chico. You, anybody that's uh, looked at the fire season over the last few years can see that um, we've had some pretty, uh, some really bad fires. And one of the things we're trying to do is make our community as safe as possible. And so when we're able to put these black lines around um, Chico, it, it helps us um, to where we're, um, we're just able to protect the, the structures. Right, less to worry about from a fire coming down the hill. Absolutely, it, and it actually slows the progress. So when you get like a two, three, four hundred foot swath, or even a sixty acre swath of black as it's coming down to Chico, we don't, we're not nearly as worried about it. Right, you don't have to worry about that part. Yeah. So did that give you guys some comfort last year having the burn in the park, like when you had the park fire, knowing that you had big burn down oh, around absolutely. Horseshoe Lake? In fact, that's going to be our emphasis on next week is to um, is to get up into the park and do two or three prescribed burns up there. I would have liked to have done more last year because we eventually had a fire. Um, it was either in July or August. And um, in all honesty, if we would have been able to get up there and, and have those prescribed burns, uh, there would have been less damage to the park. All right. Well, it's good to see you guys doing it. You, if it really feels like Chico's building some momentum back towards having a lot more prescribed burning, is that what you feel like is going on? Yeah, we have some uh, we have some very talented individuals that can lead the prescribed burns. Yeah, so uh, it's part of what you're trying to do out here today to um, you know train the next generation of prescribed burn people for your department? Well, yeah, I mean, not just prescribed burns, but we want to understand conditions when they do go out into the wildland atmosphere because there's a lot of fighting fire with fire as well. Yeah. And so we want them to, it teaches them um, not only how to do it, but how to be safe while it's being done. Right. Well, it seems like it's worth mentioning that, like, right now it's 90 degrees and 17% humidity. We've, we've got almost some wildland fire conditions here that we're working under, and it's great to see, you know, that we can do prescribed fire safely under conditions like this. Oh, absolutely. In fact, this is the first uh, first week where we hit in the 90s. In fact, you took the last weather, so you know that. Um, and just to get used to this type of fire weather and, and being able to do this in a controlled environment, really, is, it, it just, it's a great idea. And, All right. Well, thanks a lot, Chief. Glad to be out here with you guys. Oh, glad you have you. All right. Thanks.